486, a new child was born. You kept me safe, close, tight and warm. Thank you, Mom. Them beatings that you gave me prepared me that life was pain. And then I knew right from wrong. Still wouldn't follow directions, my head was hard. Sorry. Outside with the older kids, post on the porch. You told me not to leave that porch. Mm -hmm. But when you turned your back, I was out of sight like a Porsche Running around the neighborhood Picking fights cause we bored Throwing rocks, breaking windows And kicking on doors Running from Jake Trying not to get caught by Doris Brought addicted drug users in the house we slept And sold crack right in front of you Disrespect And when my pops left I took a hot step in the jump Hennessy, eyes squints Took sips from the cup Bagging up weed Chopping up cane was the beginning But being able to feed myself was a given According to my brother Brothers and friends, we was winning, but still, according to grandma, we was sinning. Sorry, grandma. Damn. You know, at this time, you really gotta understand being surrounded by poverty and violence, and parents on drugs, and friends' parents on drugs. It, it, it was, it was different for us growing up. 1997, chapter two. I'm sorry, Miss Felby. I was so lost and confused Even though you and Mr. Jones tried to get through Shackles on my hands and feet Escorted from school On the highway For the first time in my life Broad Street, heart for detention A time of my life I was scared and tough All at the same time But not a punk I had to fight Just to eat and survive Six months in that cold cell Fitting alone Just imagine being 11 That far from home Missing your mom Only hear her voice on the phone Waiting for court Hoping that day to go home And still can't touch a mother Only kisses is blown To see a smirk on that guard Had me feeling a mess And that smile on that judge Had me feeling like death Mom asked if you okay I used to nod and say yes To put a smile on her face That feeling the best Taking little steps As I head back to the cell Part of the system Feeling like I'm living in hell Damn Hell That's how it felt You know at this time, things ain't get better for me. It only got worse. Yes, it did. But I want y'all to understand something, all right? Go ahead. Transferred from heart for detention. Too many fights. Plus, the jail was overpopulated. Too many nights. Started acting like them young kids I once didn't like. Became a product of my environment. A fact of life. Started running up in cells and taking a commissary. Leaving with TVs, tapes, and CDs. Betting on sports games, losing and not paying. Betting on space games, losing and start banging. Sent to another detention that was different. Cause they ain't really rock with people from my district. Very first day, fought. They got the best of me. Three days later, fought. Gave them the business. On the fifth day, got jumped in the kitchen. And within one week, we all became clickish. Residential home was different, a bit calm. I wasn't locked down for 23 and 1. Just couldn't leave the plantation I was on. It was designed to transition you to home. More phone time, visits, and furloughs. MYI at 17 years old. Too many tickets, I maxed out from chronic. Red jumpsuit, got sent to Northern. Taking showers with handcuffs in the morning. Shackles on my feet at wreck in the corner surrounded by gangs murderers and lawyers Marcelli had 84 years and he was innocent he took the blame for his little brother and had to live with it and not one night he complained about doing night. it the crazy thing about all this at the end of it he ain't do it even his little brother was innocent damn it's a true story hold your head horn pardon me mother's pain